matching the 1099 to be by then doing a journal entry, which we might do at the end of the year. If we use this method, we're going to be more accurate during the year, right? Because, because now we're breaking out each of the transactions as we go instead of waiting like till the end of the year when we get a 1099 and then possibly make an, an adjustment at the end of the year, for example. Uh, so, and, and, uh, and here we also might have the sales tax. If I go to the balance sheet, if we deal with sales tax, then we've got the sales tax payable, which is a liability account. Now, then the final step of this method would be that we're going to see the deposit. And when the deposit hits the checking account, we will put the other side to the clearing account and the clearing account will then zero back out. So I'm going to go back to the tab to the left. And if we go into the checking account, we could say there's our deposit. We could say we can look at the detail in our clearing account and it should match exactly because there's no fee because we're connected directly to, to Amazon. It was paid out by Amazon. So if there's no other fees or anything, then from a third party platform like a PayPal or something, we should be able to go in here directly and see it. And I'm going to put the other side of this transaction to the Amazon clearing account. Amazon, Amazon clearing. What did I call it for crying out loud? I called it Amazon payment clearing account. Okay. Amazon payment clearing account. So there we go. And so this will decrease the checking account and then the other side will bring the clearing account back to zero. Let's add it and then go to the balance sheet. It's thinking awfully long. Balance sheet, run the balance sheet. And so now the clearing account is back down. What we should see in the clearing accounts is, is they go up and then they go back down to zero. So we should be able to tick and tie these uh, journal entries and then the transaction. And if I go back up to the uh, the the checking account, it's going to go into the checking account. So no, so that's how you could do it on a manual basis. Now remember, we're, in a future presentation, we'll take a look then at the QuickBooks method, which is which is using their commerce method down here, which is also similar to some third-party apps, which also is trying to summarize the data as it as it pulls in that information into the QuickBooks system. So we're still gonna have to deal with like clearing accounts and whatnot, even if we're using this kind of method, because we're trying not to pull in every single transaction from the third party platform like an Amazon or Shopify. And so the integrations that most people recommend are the ones that are trying to do a similar thing, pull in the detailed information related to the payments and break that out uh, but to have it done kind of automatically in the QuickBooks system, but you're still going to have to deal with the clearing accounts and basically have to understand what, what it is doing. So we'll get into that more in future presentations.